Webin FC TV with Aaron Racine looking ahead to St Albans City away in the National League South. Aaron, how are you feeling going into it? Um, looking forward to it. Um, looking to implement some more ideas we worked on tonight in training. Um, hopefully keep a good form up and um, yeah, hopefully just get a good result and come home. Not on the game of the season against a team that's around the playoff area. Competitive one for the end of season running. Are you feeling confident going into it? Uh, I feel confident going into every game. Regardless of you know um, recent form or whatever team we're playing, I generally believe the squad we have and the identity of the club. I think we can take it to any team. So I'll go into it with um, sort of no more confidence in what I would do in every game. Um, looking forward to going there. They've got a good pitch, nice pitch, nice and big. Hopefully it suits us quite well. Um, but like you just said, then they're they're pushing for a playoff spot. They can still get there. Um, so I'm not expecting anything to be given to us. And you mentioned form there. And that not being a fact, <coughs> but it is a third away trip on the, on the bounce for us and we, we are winning away from home, we've got a pretty good away record so it does bode well going into that sort of game. Yeah, yeah it does, um, but yeah, I, again, I, I don't want to sort of alarm that, I don't want to look at our most recent form, it's just all about looking at Saturday and looking at St Albans and how we can uh, expose them in terms of their weaknesses. Off the back of Dartford on Tuesday, you've had a bit of time to reflect on that game and look over it. What were your main takeaways from it? Uh, I think, again, we were good in patches. I think I, st I stand by what I said after the game. I think we were good in patches, had some good spells. Um, it's when, when we conceded that first goal, we sort of let, got a little bit impatient and started forcing things a little bit. And, you know, I said, like I said, at half time, and I still think now, like I said to the boys in the analysis, it was a case of just playing the game. We had control of the game before they scored. I thought we were dominating. Um, dominating the ball in terms of being patient, waiting for the right opportunity to go and uh, attack. Uh, we had some good chances in the box, which maybe we could have scored on a different day. Um, but when they had that penalty, it sort of, sort of changed our mentality a little bit. Um, but overall, it's, it's, it was a, a better performance in terms of us in possession. We defended really well, only conceded the cons uh, penalty. Um, and on top of that, we, we come back from 1-0 down, which again, you know, recent games recently, ones where we had a bit of bad form, we couldn't do. Um, but it's brilliant that the boys showed that and we can do it. And mentioning the boys there, looking at the squad, who do you think might be available? Uh, Jack Warden was a notable absentee from Tuesday. Do you think he might be available for Saturday? Yeah, I think Jack tra trained tonight, so as long as he has no reaction, he should be um, available for selection. Um, Ruben Austin pulled up uh, tonight in training, so I have to have a look at his injury. Um, Nicky Wheeler's probably still a week away, um, hopefully. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, I don't think there was anyone else. It's hard to keep track of though, because it's been so many this season. Yeah, it has. Yeah, and obviously we've got quite a, quite a big squad to sort of look after, so it has been hard to um, keep track of. But yeah, apart from that, I think that's it. And we're pretty much at the close of the season now, then, so an ultimate day, and should be a good away following. How big is that going to be for the boys to help them get over the line? Yeah, it's, oh, it doesn't want to sound too cliche, but obviously away fans, you know, they play their part. They really, really do play their part, and we noticed them at, at Dartford. Um, you go to Dartford, it's quite a big club, they've got a good fan base, but you can still hear half fans cheering, um, singing along, and it just gives that little bit of an extra push when you need it.